Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to go over a latest analysis for uh, cryptocurrency markets using Binance data. I'm now, I guess you could say, an official customer of Binance. If you haven't seen my video on how I funded an account with Binance on top of uh, testing the automated trades with the buy and sell within um, Binance and our API. I'll be doing a demo on that tomorrow night. Today is July 23rd. And um, what we're gonna be doing is going through the usual report, but I just wanna add a little surprise at the end. I've not mentioned this before. Here we have um, Bitcoin has appeared to be on the up upswing. So as a result, what I've added here, these are the best combination of uh, pairs to get um, maximum returns according to this portfolio optimizer and um, the expected return should be 0 1.9 percent or sorry 1.9 percent now there is uh, a bug here which should be showing the weightings to get that but for now I'm going to keep the combinations of these pairs going uh, for that kind of expected return uh, I'm not sure obviously that can be correct or not but I would be I should be actually tracking this for the next day or 24 hours from now being at 322 p.m. users <coughs> standard time so what we're dealing with here is we're dealing with two uh, cryptocurrency pairs BCH which is I believe Bitcoin Cash BNB XZC and BNB so let's go over to uh, the report um, that was generated so again, here's the list, and um, this is uh, sorted, but NEO BNB seems to be one that will give you a better return, but the BCH against the US dollar uh, tether um, may give you the better return. Um, but here we have um, Bitcoin against the Bit Binance um, crypto, uh, BNB, the, their, their cryptocurrency, as well as, uh, what was the last one here, the XZC so this one so these are the combinations but let, let's see what we have here um, because I do believe and I said this a few weeks ago that we are uh, I feel with Bitcoin on the rise of the last day or, so, or a couple of days actually and the, and the moves have been pretty solid and they've been pretty consistent so I do think we have hit some form of bottoming process and everything may start to recover now. So what we have here is we've got the um, a sudden decline since December and things have been stable uh, since um, uh, the um, around February and there's been no, no declines, which is good, obviously. Solid downtrend. So now we're just coming out of that downtrend where historically now we are above uh, the historical long-term uh, trend line. And again, we do have very tight uh, tight uh, Fibonacci levels, so we will wait it out to see where things will go. Things are improving. The returns are still negative historically. And, and this is, again, all the way back to December of last year, um, about, what, seven months now. So let's look at the next level. So here, this is the interesting part. We have here a um, head and shoulders, or I call it now a, a formation of it. Doesn't really mean a significant amount, but we did break through. Here's the neckline. Here we broke here at the um, expected move. We did exceed it, and um, that would have been a good time to buy with those kind of moves from 63 to 66. So that right there, and I'm pretty sure, or you would have gotten a 10% return. Now, these are the things we want to look out for is I'm looking for any harmonic patterns. I don't see any. But um, what we do have is our um, candlesticks are screaming bullish 721, 719, 719, and 721. Now, these are supposedly the more um, bullish I'm, not, I'm just going to ignore the description of these but it is square uh, screaming reliable candlestick uh, patterns at us for the last uh, two three days okay so when we look at uh, 
Um, what else are we looking at here? Signals, we've got one here, but again, you can see these signals don't really amount to much. So this is where that reliability of these cross, uh, moving cross signals are, I don't know. Um, unless we see, like this is doing pretty strong, unless this was to scream uh, with some harmonic patterns, I'd be all over it. Um, but uh, the system's saying otherwise. So here on the, on the low end, or short term, um, this is a 30-day look back, so the last month. So we have here um, some kind of pattern here showing on these trend lines, upper and lower. It is breaking through the upper trend line, which is good, but it still has that downward uh, momentum. Here we have the moving averages. Uh, they are tightening up, which is good. Um, the EMA is still higher. The 200 is still too high. Historically, we need to see the um these move and and it comes back to the rsi if we bought this in april we could have done well in this upswing here and then just in the short term but the question is are we moving up now here's the problem rsi still in overbought condition momentum is slightly above zero so you know you can see here in these moves along here that the momentum did uh, increase so that's a good sign but uh, here, uh, it's still questionable. Now, um, if I remember, um, let's go back to our uh, report here. Um, yeah, so that's BCH, BNB is one of the more potential ones with some momentum, but it looks like it's being held off. But again, if you have been watching the position manager and the watch list, this would be a very good um, cryptocurrency pair to add to the watch list and wait for those momentums to confirm and break through our upper stop loss targets or even a stop a soft target as well. So I'll be um, putting more info on that down the line. Now again, here's our 90 day uh, move. It has been moving up slow, lots of candles uh, patterns here. You could probably see but again, it's getting into that overbought position. So this is where I worry about these sort of scenarios because, um, I'm sorry, right here at 70, it's just overvalued. Um, so we need to watch that. But the interesting thing here is you can clearly see for the last um, 30 days, since roughly July 13th, comes in, hits that overvalued, and it's gonna drop I believe but we have some <clears throat> pretty nice moves up here if we did track this since July 10th at uh, I bet you there's some nice patterns here um, that would have been screaming if we were tracking it back then again around the 10th 11th 12th in this range and it did move up nice move came back down and it may come up but I bet you that this will get knocked back down um, because it's overvalued and once again our momentum has been building over the last uh, 30 days so tough one to say but I'll definitely add it to the watch list or the system will add it to the watch list um, okay so our next one oddly is uh, this one that we're about to do is or no ZRX Ethereum oh yeah sorry I'm getting confused here. Yeah, so we want X, Z, C, B, and B. Okay, let me just go back to uh, our chart. So I just want to make sure X, Z, C, B, and B. Yeah, so this is our next one. Again, we had a recent um, buy signal. But again, I mean, there's been very little moves, unless you're not noticing them. But here's the cool thing is that we are definitely hitting that um, reversal bottoming process all the way back to roughly mm, mid, late January, February time. And then the Fibonacci levels are starting to open up. So once we start to see these uh, undervalued um, could buy, if there's enough momentum behind it here, and excuse me, and just wait for the Fibonacci 
moves to hit here at the 362 or 236 levels that would be pretty good but you can see here it's been clearly beaten down this xzc but here is a bullish crab found and this is a bullish crab um, found right here at the point so let's see get some more details so now we're starting to see some upward momentum on these trend lines this may be an actual good buy or good entry um again here we are seeing some rsi along here starting to form starting to get our normalized region still no long-term momentum um but here we're on a 30 a 90 day look back and it's been beating around i don't see any candlestick patterns though um oh we did get a did, oh so all we have is the harmonic pattern so there's no candlestick patterns here um, but this is an interesting one to watch you can see it slightly go up slightly pushing towards the overvalued at 70 on the rsi Ooh, let's see what we got here so if we moved um move an average trends so wow okay this is a good sign that we have broken through the ema so the short-term averages here in the smas are higher now than the ema which is a very good sign so we're starting to go from 1.2 to 1.5 but even we had a wick here at 1.6 so that's a pretty good move just if you were to close out at that point at that right time at 1.6 but again here um this is looking good but look out um we are approaching the overvalued um and again the momentum has declined but something or someone is pushing this up and uh let's see here so now we're looking at bitcoin or sorry litecoin bnb and uh again these these are not well actually they're pretty big moves when you look at it i mean the value is doubling um here between feb to sometime in march so who knows but again we have the same as before um the trend the pricing is just hitting over the long-term trend which is very good um again we may should be having a formation of the bottoming process but we need to see more levels of these fibonacci levels open up as you can see in the previous chart um let's see here you can see here they've they started to open up quite a bit let's go back to where we were on the litecoin bnb um there's definitely some kind of bottoming process in the whole asset class of cryptocurrency so um again we have another bullish crab on a daily chart interesting so we are possibly moving up again you can always look at these levels here on the third pricing on what the target would be for fibonacci on the short term if it was a 30 day what levels we could go in at a point um at uh as I explained at 67 62 i'm sorry 62 but I'll have to uh, go into the details of that because the cryptocurrencies are starting to move upwards. Now, again, <clears throat> nice thing is 180 days. This is a six-month chart. Historically, we would see our, um, our uh, averages, our short-term averages would be a lot lower than the long-term EMA. So they're starting to get tightened up, which is good. Um, hitting our are undervalued the rsi so there's definitely uh some buying opportunity here that we're uh, getting hit same here and um be very interesting to see what happened as the uh price starts to form and again we're starting to see some momentum build up not big move swings but they are moving up um but you gotta watch this rsi level at 70 momentum is above zero which is good it's positive so that's a good sign but look at this this is a 30-day chart so we're going from six to seven hmm right along here i'm just surprised there's no candlestick uh, patterns getting flagged here 
Um, and again, the volume's still fairly low uh, for this type of currency pair. Now we have Neo BNB. Um, interesting, it doesn't quite look as good as the previous two, which is about right, I'm going to assume. Um, again, more negative, but, 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 okay, so we have here a, what appears to be an automated head and shoulders. Okay, so this is, this is possibly a, so a thousand uses, uh, hours only. So notice that that's a thousand hours. Um, so I believe that's roughly, um, uh, I'm just get my old calculator here and just figure out how many days that would be on the, uh, on inverted or not, sorry, automated head and shoulders here. So we have a thousand divided by 20, sorry, uh, 24. So that's 40 days. So last 40 days, we've had upward trend line, neck, neckline, and then our price is just ready to break through. So that is something I'd be watching. Okay, again, and here we go again. So we have a bearish on 719. Um, let me just see that but we have a, a, a harmonic cross let me just see everybody so we got a harami cross bullish so let me just show you we've gone through this with the candlestick patterns before my youtube channel so here you can find here uh, Bol bolkowski bullish harami cross good potential but it acts randomly just 55 percent of the time price continues bearish trend so it's basically saying is that uh, 55 percent of the time you will get a signal but it'll go back into a bearish trend so we need to be aware of that um, yeah, I'm just catch up here so we have a bullish cross frequency so it's pretty high performance ranks pretty high best meeting pricing 74 percent bull market on the up but best move after 10 is four. 4.52% up breakout, 10%, 36. So it's it's I guess it's, it's still considered pretty good. So let me just analyze this here. So we have a bullish cross. So if you follow what I'm trying to do here, you want to go to the one day. Oh, I should get the date. Um, so we have the date here of 7:22. So that's yesterday. So this this may actually pop up if I did this scan tomorrow so this is the 30 days so what we're looking for is 722 so it's in this range and just see what we got out of here so it's a downward trend and a very small bar that is doesn't look right so, so oh I see this is this is the flag right here so this uh, combination and then this uh, candle will then supposedly high probability of going up. So when you compare, um, let's see here, I'm going to just show you that. Okay, so we have here um, the Haremi Cross 722. Um, it does have the uptrend line forming. Uh, it is tightening up. That's 180 day, but here was the time to get in. Was it this time early or late June? Bumped up a little bit, but uh, it's still within range. So that's a good sign. Um, 90 day look back. Uh, let's see here. So right here is our 30 day. So right now we're just slightly above it. We could probably squeeze a little bit of profit. If the price does move up, it will hit that 70 and then come back down. But we have some slight momentum forward. So that's a tough one. But um, the Haremi Cross I've never seen before. But um, hmm, we'll, we'll keep it. Well, it should, it would add it to, to the list. But um, that currency was, uh, was it Neo? Neo and BNB. Okay, so we have the Neo BNB here, of, uh, right here. But if we did add these four 
according to what we have. I've got a report on it if you needed to know. We still get a better a better return or expected return uh, using this combination of the, as, as I said before, BCH, BNB, and X. ZC BNB. So that's the, for, for optimal return. That doesn't matter if it's Markowitz or whatnot um, because we're not using the weightings. But um, that supposedly uh, would give you um, a better return. So moving on. Okay, so that's Neo BNB. So now we're using BCH USDT. USDT. Okay, so let me just uh, point out here something I learned about in the last week. Um, if you notice the ones that uh, were getting picked, and remember this is on Bitcoin, what you'll notice here is um, I just learned this actually. If, at least for Binance Exchange, what will happen is there's two primarily what I'm seeing what they call stable coins. Which is either BNB or USD Tether, US dollar Tether. Um, so that's a stable coin because it doesn't move a lot. So um, there's more stability in that base uh, currency. So that's why you see more of this, the BNB and USD DT, at least on the Binance exchange. On top of that, I all still occasionally see Ethereum and Bitcoin as, as a base coin as well. Thought I'd put that out there. So now we're dealing with Bitcoin Cash, USDT, um, buy signal again. You know, this is this moves a little better um, on these signals, but I don't put a lot of emphasis as I thought I would on these cross, moving average cross. This one's not as strong just because it's just, <coughs> it did move up a little over that long-term trend. And uh, again, the Fibonacci levels have not opened up a whole lot. Um, the good thing is, well, I should say there's probably more negative returns. But here we go. Um, so we have some bullish signals here. Last one was two days ago. Um, so again, it's a bit move, move up, but it's tough to say. But we, I guess start using these target levels. Um, as part of that uh, in my system, which I'm not really at this point. Uh, this is 180 day, six month look. So you can see lots of, well, volume is pretty well the same. But this RSI usually um, does work, as you can see here, very reliable. And, and combined with the momentum on top of that as well. Um, so we have here some interesting formation on a 90 day 30 days what I'm looking at but these moves that's a big move right there uh, so I would have been in July 14th 15th some big moves there from roughly 675 I'd say all the way up to 850 wow that's quite the big move on Bitcoin cash if I was tracking that that's a, that's a nice move that's gone from roughly Let's say 700 to 850 on that kind of return. Let me just do that math. Um, yeah, it's about 20% remove. That's pretty good. All right, so now we hit Litecoin US um, dollar here. Uh, again, just eking over that long term uh, trend. Not tight, not opened up enough, and I can see why this system has only chosen these two because um, these are the only ones that show any potential with the Fibonacci levels opening up. So that's quite interesting. Uh, next up, uh, too many negative returns. Our candles bullish uh, on the 18th. That's kind of far back, but 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 we have uh, some trends looking up. That's on a 30 day trend. Okay, so again, the Litecoin. Mm, moving average is still way below the EMAs, the long term EMA. 90 day. You can clearly see that um, the volume is starting to pick up 
on this. So I think more and more people are moving into um, the crypto space market. Um, that's since, let's see, yeah, I can see here, um, the podcast, we're looking at about roughly mid June when the, the volume has just doubled, um, prior to that. So that's a good sign. RSI, it's still a 50 momentum, somewhat positive. This should be added to the watch list, but not quite there, but, but that is that, that in that time is a nice move. Um, but, uh, this right here, um, let me just check up on that pattern, the candlestick pattern for July 18th. Let's see here what we got. July 18th would take me back to, mm, roughly right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can see that, uh, what kind of pattern was that? So it did catch it at that big move uh, on the 18th. So that was a matching glow matching matching glow let me just make sure i got that um uh, pattern site matching glow so if we were um let me see here matching the pattern site.com matching glow okay matching low i'm sorry so that threw me off so we want uh bullish let's see what it said about that in terms of reliability uh let's see bullish matching low pattern i just like the pattern site it seems to be the best one out there for candlesticks um blah 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 as i create uh, da, da, da. it is a support zone it is a support zone Bullish reversal on the idea of the stock at the testing reveals that the pattern pushes through the support and acts as a bearish continuation. Bullish reversal. Um, yeah, so we need, I need to get the book. Uh, but the bullish is the bullish uh, bullish uh, matching low so it's sixty percent so I'm gonna assume ranking eight out of hundred and three surprising news the candlestick pattern is now well received well priced patterns after the breakout matching low frequency eight sixty nine percent bull market up breakout best moving move uh, three breakout ranks are 103 okay so if I look at that was for July 18th never thought I'd be putting so much emphasis on so I caught it here I'm gonna say 1718 right here and in a bizarre way yeah, it did work, um, but it's with the opposite of the expectation. So it did have an up move here. And because of that, it looks like we had some moves and then it moved down. Uh, that's what I'm thinking here. Yeah, so it seemed to kind of do its job. So that's pretty well it. Um, but uh, interesting enough... Uh, interesting enough, I'm very curious to see how these uh, puppies work on the BCH BNB. And uh, hopefully, let me just see if we have a new. No, I didn't add the uh, didn't add to the watch list. All right, but um, yeah, very interesting scan. Um, it looks like the algorithm, these rankings seems to be kind of working on the selection. But if you have not watched any of my Facebook lives, it seems that um, there is some machine learning that can be applied to uh, rank the cryptocurrency pairs for um, the watch list. Oh, well, I'll, I'll talk to that.